Hi, I'm Steve, the owner, and this is Kevin, the ski buyer for skis.com. The boot we're going to talk about now is the Lang Blaster Pro. There's some new features on this boot that are unique that I think you're really going to like. Blaster Pro is uh, an all new boot, as Steve said, from Lang this year. Totally brand new mold. Um, this boot's designed really for that high performance all mountain skier. Maybe has a little bit of a sense of adventure to them as it's got some pretty unique features that Steve will highlight later. Um, but if you maybe like to hit the side country as they call it now, but you still scheme groom trails, uh, possibly maybe you've got a set of Mark or Duke or Baron bindings on your skis, this would be a, a very good boot to pair up with those. Features 102 millimeter last, so it's a little more generous, but not too generous. Uh, you know, if you've got a nice mid-volume foot, it's gonna accommodate your foot very well. Um, so it's a slightly wider than Lang's of past, so if you think that Lang's will only accommodate very narrow feet, that is not the case anymore. The liner is also pretty cool. It's got man fur, as Steve likes to call it, which provides additional warmth and comfort in the boot. Um, you've also got a flexible toe box in the boot, so it's going to provide additional comfort if you're doing some climbs, maybe skinning up on a, on a run. You've got a lot of toe room and a lot of comfort in the toes. So it's a very warm, comfortable liner. You've got the tongue pull, so you can get that tongue forward. allows easy entry and exit of the boot. Other features on the Blaster Pro are actually very exciting. They have a brand new feature that has uh, never been used in a boot before that I think is really cool. And what it is, is if you look at this buckle here, you can actually flip this buckle the other way and there is a cable on here. And that cable can be used, that, that buckle cable system can be used for two things. One is it actually allows the back of the cuff to drop, giving it a ski walk feature. For many of you uh, that have been skiers for a while, you may remember that most boots had ski walk features years ago. I always loved them, but you don't find those in higher end boots anymore. So this allows you to walk around the lodge with the cuff dropped back so it doesn't put quite so much pressure on your knee. But the primary reason this was developed is so for those people that want to do backcountry and are climbing and stuff, they don't have to have so much forward lean built into their boots. So by dropping the cuff back, that allows you to climb up the slopes. Yeah, it makes, makes it much, much easier. Yep. Uh, in addition to that, it also has four micro adjustable buckles, which you would expect metal buckles on a boot like this. There's also some additional adjustments on the front cuff that allows this buckle to slide back and forth on the front so you can actually loosen up you can keep it buckled but loosen up this buckle a little more if you need it or if you have a wider calf it has a good beefy power strap on it and it has a side cant that will allow you to adjust the cuff left or right to accommodate if you need a left or right adjustment due to the the um, direction that your knees go in addition it uses a bi injected mold which allows softer material on the top to overlay your foot and make it nice and comfortable. Stiffer materials along the side to give it support. And uh, in addition, it also has a front buckle over the instep, which moves. That allows you to buckle the top without putting quite so much pressure on your instep. So you can really dial this boot down and get it nice and tight, uh, but not create pressure points or pain. So this is for that high performance gear, maybe backcountry or uh, off piss a little bit that wants a boot that's going to give them a lot of creature comforts but also a lot of performance as well. The Lang Blaster Pro.